Hi, I'm Niall from Gulfstream Boat Sales. This is a 2003 Rinker 192 Captiva Bowrider that we have for sale on Brokerage. The, the boat has only 114 hours on the, uh, on the clock, so it's only run for 114 hours, so it's been very lightly used. It's in nice condition. Um, it comes complete with a single axle UK spec road trailer, CE certified, it's got a bow cover and a, cap and a tonneau cover and um, it's fitted with the Mercruiser 4.3 litre V6 stern drive so that makes 190 horsepower so it gives this boat bags of performance and it's, uh, it's just a cracking little entry level bow rider it's well priced, it's good value for money and there's, there's tons of room on board as well, it's got a great little layout so we're going to take a walk around this boat, show you the, all the features on it in detail. We're going to show you exactly the condition that this one's in and hopefully help you to make a decision of whether you're interested in this boat. So as you may or may not know, uh, we used to be the main rinker importer for Ireland from 2006 until around about 2010. And the 192 was a current model during that period of time and it was one of our most popular models. Um, it was like rinker's entry level product. Um, and they were extremely good quality, they were well put together and they had a great layout. So this, the, in 2003 this was like pretty much brand new and it was current then, this, this model of boat was current right up until like 2009, 2010. So it's a very, I mean, if you were to walk past this boat in a marina or in a boatyard you would not immediately think it's a 2003 boat. It looks much more modern than that and with the nice black gel coat stripe and stuff, again, it makes it feel very contemporary. Combined with like the layout and inside with a walk-through transom and the nice L-shaped seating arrangement and stuff, it's just a cracking little boat. And um, it really, with only 114 hours on the clock as well, it could very, very easily pass for a much younger boat. But this one has has led pretty sheltered life. It hasn't done very much at all. And taking a walk around the exterior of the boat, you can you can tell that. So there's virtually no real damage anywhere around the outside of this boat. Um, couple of little scuffs in the in the graphics and things but overall still looks really good very striking so you've got these stainless steel uh, rub rails and things stainless steel cleats this nice uh, highly polished windscreen surround it's all in really good condition um, coming right down towards the uh, the transom end of the boat the corners which are a very common area of damage on boats like this are um, in great shape as well, so they haven't had any impact damage off the marina, the jetties and stuff like that. Taking a look down along the starboard side then, a couple of minor things I have to point out here. We've got a little scuff mark on the rub rail here, where she's obviously caught something at the nose. But looking at it, the, the radius of the curve hasn't been upset there, it hasn't been pushed in or anything. And there's no, um, there's no evidence of any more extensive damage than that, it's just purely a little cosmetic thing. He's obviously had a bump off something. And there's one little gel coat um, repair, previous repair here, where it's obviously had a little chunk that's been taken out of it, probably caused by this. This we could tidy this up before it goes, but I'd say it's a little bit of trailer damage where it's come on as it's been filled in there. But again, very minor cosmetic thing. And um, apart from that, down along the starboard side, I can't see any other defects with it. It looks great. Boat's never been anti-fouled either. Been the current owners have had it for the last five years or something they've always had it in fresh water as far as we know before that it was in fresh water as well so it spent most of its life in fresh water and it obviously hasn't spent a whole lot of time in the water either because it's never been anti-found and the whole bottom is nice and clean but coming down along this side you can see i mean it, it looks immaculate the graphics here on this side are are pristine um, this could easily pass for about two or three years old really is in great shape this corner as well on the starboard side one tiny little scuff there, but no stress cracking, no impact damage on the on the rub reel or anything. It's all in, in great shape. So whenever I started out in the, with the boat sales business back in 2005 was whenever I first start, got started. The reason I chose Rinker, there was a, a number of brands were available to us to, to, to start bringing them into Ireland. But the reason I chose Rinker was the design and quality of the boats combined with the, the price. They were they were really good value, but I mean, they were more expensive than the entry level stuff, so bayliners and maxims and things like that, blastrons, they were priced at a more expensive level than that, but they were much cheaper than your sea rays and your cobalts and the formulas and the really high end stuff, but the quality was just so much better than the, than the entry level stuff. And 
there's, you know, just as you go through the boats, it's all the little details that, that sort of add up to make it a really good quality product. So the, the fact that all the handrails and things are stainless steel, the, uh, these high quality fold, folding stainless steel board and ladders, the little stainless steel rub rail insert and things, the gel coat on these rinkers is super hard wearing and it's, it's really, it lasts really well as well. So I mean, even this boat, now you, 12 years old, still has a really deep luster and shine to the gel coat. And then the interior, the, the upholstery, the carpets, the, the, uh, the dashes and things, just it all combined to, to give a really high end feel to these boats. And this one's no exception. Like I said, it was sort of ahead of its time whenever it came out in 03, and it, it's still really up to date uh, now. So, part of the, the great sort of layout of these boats. Um, is the fact that you have a full width integrated swim platform for a start. So we've got that board and ladder with the integrated handrail to help yourself up out of the boat. Full width platform. This little raised step just to stop any sort of wash that comes up at the back of the boat going into the cockpit. But you just hop over that and then you've got a full walkthrough transom and a, a great layer inside the boat. So you can climb in and out of this boat either from the water or from the pontoon without having to clamber over any seat cushions. And without having to move anybody off their seats and stuff like that, so it's a really, very, it's a really good usable layout. Again, the condition of everything back here at the transom is perfect. Um, everything's working as it should. All the fittings, the ski toe point, the central ski toe point, all the handrails, everything is uh, really solid uh, and secure. As I said, this boat's fitted with the Mercruiser 4.3 liter V6 stern drive. It's 190 horsepower and it's matched up to this uh, Alpha One. Uh, drive leg. So the, the legs in pretty good condition. This is still the original paint finish so it's never been anti fouled over the top of or anything. You can see we've got some light corrosion starting here in the gimbal ring and around the front edge of the leg. Um, it's, it's purely cosmetic at this stage. It could be rubbed down and repainted without any trouble. Um, if it's something, if you're going to be using the boat on and off the trailer, I wouldn't even worry about that at all. If you're thinking about keeping the boat in the water, it's going to be perhaps worth getting it rubbed down and cleaned up and stuff. Um, the prop's in pretty good condition. The lower leg, as you can see, the skeg is, is unmarked and undamaged. So that's the original skeg. It hasn't had any chunks or anything taken out of it. And all the seals, the bellows are all, all pretty good. They've been replaced recently. Actually, the owners were telling me, I think they had this done maybe last year. Um, so they're in good shape. And uh, just generally, the condition of this drive is um, it's, in, it's in good shape mechanically. Um, it's in very good order and the boat has just been serviced. The owners had it serviced, engine and drive, fully serviced and put a new battery into it just before they brought it up to me to, uh, to advertise it for sale. So um, you've got nothing to worry about, I don't think, with the mechanics of this boat. Um, and because she's only run 114 hours, the thing has done very, very little work. On board then, you can see what it was that sold so many of these boats for us. It was this layout, this L-shaped seat arrangement at the back of the cockpit combined with these two uh, swiveling um, captain's chairs in the helm seat and the passenger seat. So it's a really sociable layout. It means that you've got enough room here for three or four adults to sit across the, the back of the boat whilst retaining this full walkthrough transom. So we've got a really nice wide walkthrough here. It's um, a couple of steps down into the cockpit and it means that you know, whether you've got kids that are swimming and water, doing water sports and continually having to jump in and out of the boat or even just getting in and out of the boat from the jetty and stuff, it makes access a breeze and you don't have to get anybody to shift out of their seat. Um, so it's a great, great layout. The boat's eight foot wide, so it's a nice beamy design. Lots of room in here. There's also lots of storage space as well. We've got a big storage compartment underneath the transom walkthrough here. Um, we've got little cubby holes dotted throughout the, the cockpit. There's storage underneath this port side seat, so you get your covers, we've got our, our boy cover and tonneau cover stored down in there at the moment. Uh, and we've also got a ski locker in the floor here as well. So it's a full length ski locker, so you've got ropes and fenders and stuff down there in there at the minute so you can get you know, mono skis and things like that down in, out of the way. So lots of room for getting all your bits and pieces of gear um, off, the, off the deck. We've also got an integrated bin here. So again, this is doubling up the storage for flares and ropes at the minute, but this is a proper bin. And there's loads of cup holders all the way around the boat as well. We've got a couple up at the helm and passenger seat, a couple at the back there and stuff. So um, uh, lots of usable 
you know, practical features on it. The quality of the upholstery is very good. Um, we've got this colour coded striping to match the exterior colour of, of the hull. We've got this little grey piping as well. And um, you know, the seats are set low on the boat. The windscreen comes up to a decent height, so you know you get a good bit of protection from the from the wind whenever you're underway. And it's a nice although it's good and spacious, it's also pretty compact. So if you want to keep a close eye on your kids and things like that, you know, they're gonna feel safe and secure inside the, the cockpit. In terms of the condition of everything in here, again, with the boat only having run a hundred and less than 115 hours, it hasn't seen very much use. But at the end of the day, it's still a 2003 boat, and there are a few little small issues in terms of the condition. But I mean, they're minor, very minor. But one is that we've got a little nick in the upholstery here, just where somebody's obviously caught it with something, and we've got a, a very similar one up here as well on the sun pad. We've got this full, you know, this full wet sun pad here. Um, I mean, but that's pretty much it. The carpets are in great condition. These are rubber backed, um, marine grey carpets. So you can pop these out, power wash the boat. You can machine wash these carpets as well. Um, they're all in great shape. The helm and passenger seats are in very good condition. And the upholstery up in the bow, which we'll take a look at in a minute, is very good as well. All the fixture and fittings in here are good. The handrails, all the little catches and stuff. Um, the helm is in, is in great shape, which we'll take a look at in just a minute. And again, the windscreen surround, um, everything is solid and secure. I mean, really, the only thing that lets it down is those two wee upholstery marks. And the fact that that's all we have to talk about here on an 03 boat tells a story that you know she is in, in great shape. And if you can, there's not too many boats of this age, and at this price point, you'll find that are as in as good a condition as this one. It really is exceptional for the age of the boat. Engine access on the boat's really easy as well. We just lift the sun pad cushion which is on a couple of gas assist struts and gives us access in around this Maricruiser 4.3 litre um, V6 engine so it makes 190 horsepower as I said gives the boat a fantastic turn of speed great performance for pulling water, water toys and, and wakeboarders and things and you'll see in the, uh, in the water test footage just how well it goes we've also got um, good, good service access good, good access for checking your, your dipstick um, oil level, gearbox oil level, all your fluids and things we've got an automatic fire extinguishing system down in there and we've got this big uh, storage bin where you can fire in like wet life jackets and stuff like that um, and there's a battery isolator switch in there as well so it's all nice and easy to access you don't have to like tear the cockpit apart to get into the engine it's just simply lift the, uh, the sun pad and you're, you're there. These Rinker 192s also have a, a great helm position so first of all we've got a really supportive seat it's like a, a bucket seat with a flip up bolster so whenever I'm sitting down, clear visibility through the screen, I flip up the bolster, and you can see, sit and look over the top of the screen, gives better visibility around the boat if you're you know, pulling skiers or things like that. Um, the steering wheel also has a, a five position tilt adjust. Then we've got a full range of uh, marine instrumentation, which surprisingly enough, on the, a boat of this age, everything's working here. So. Um, We've got our taco showing 114.3 hours on the clock, which is, it's, I mean, it's the best feature of this boat. It's the most surprising thing about it is how, how low the hours are. So that's virtually nothing. We've got a trim gauge there. Uh, we've got a four in one multi gauge, giving us fuel level, oil pressure, battery volts, and engine temperature. And then we've got a speedo here, as well as we also have a built in digital depth sounder. So there's a little integrated transducer inside the hull of the boat gives you the depth onto the keel. Um, then we've got our 12 volt switch panel uh, down below here. We've got engine blower motor. Again, virtually everything is working here. Um, navigation light switch, bilge pump. It's an automatic bilge pump in the, underneath the engine there, but you have a manual override switch at the dash here. We've got cockpit lights, these little lights dotted around the cockpit. The horn has seen better days, but it is working. And then uh, we've got an accessory switch there as well. So um, yeah, everything's in good condition here. The, the controls, the, the steering is nice and light. The throttle and shift controls, they're nice and light as well. Again, it's a feature of the fact she's only run 114 hours. Um, but everything is, um, is really good. And, and uh, you know, the condition of everything stacks up with the, with the hours on the clock. Um, so what we'll do is we're gonna, we, we're gonna put the boat through its paces in the water. We're going to start up the engine and let you hear how it runs 
suffice it to say, with the 4.3 litre motor, this thing has fantastic performance. It jumps, jumps up on the plane in no time at all. It runs right up to 45, almost 50 miles an hour. Great performance for pulling water skiers and wakeboarders and things, and even with a full complement of people on board. She's rated to carry eight people here on the CE plate. Even with a full eight people on board, she still gets up on the plane quickly um, and performs really well. And because she has that bigger engine, the, the 4.3 litre engine, as opposed to the, um, you get a lot, of, a lot of this type and size of boat with three litre motors, the 4.3 has to work a lot less hard and it's not burning as much fuel almost as well because this boat can run around at a third throttle quite happily all day long, whereas with a three litre, you'd have to be revving it sort of right out to near, uh, near full throttle. So, um, surprisingly, the, you don't really pay any fuel consumption penalty by, by going for that bigger 4.3 litre V6 motor. So we're going to show you the footage of the, um, the water test now. Over on the passenger side then we've also got a nice little console with an integrated cup holder, a glove box and the stereo which lives in behind this uh, waterproof case. So the stereo is all working, the two speakers in the bow and two speakers in the cockpit here and uh, they're all in, in great working order. Access to the bow is out through this open and windscreen section and we've got two, two really good seats up here, upholstered backrests, integrated stainless steel handrails. Integrated cup holders. There's four cup holders for the uh, for the body passenger, so must be the thirsty ones sit up here. The condition of everything is really good up here. Um, we have storage underneath the seat cushions, and again, these seat cushions lift up on stainless steel hinges, which again is a nice sort of high quality touch. As you can see, condition's nice. We have this little walkthrough bow section, so there's a little step here. So if you or bringing the boat into a beach and putting your nose up against the beach, you can hop in and out of it over the bow. And this step also doubles up as the anchor storage compartment. So we have a little dedicated place 
to you store the anchor which is down in there so again all the clips and, and catches and carpet and upholstery and cup holders and cleat everything's in, in great shape up here so it's a good buy two people can sit up here whenever the boat's underway no problem at all and on a blowier day or if you're out in the weather it turns again so you can throw the bow cover on close over this windscreen section and then you stop the wind blowing through the boat whenever you're uh, underway so that's our 2003 Rinker 192. Um, I've always liked these boats. I think they have a great layout. They're a beautiful looking boat. They have lovely sleek lines. This one with the black hull stripe as well really sets it apart, makes it really fresh and modern looking. And the fact this one only has 115 hours on the clock means that it has bags of life in it. Engine's running really sweetly. Boat performs really well in the water. Condition wise, it's, it's great, apart from some very minor cosmetic things which really are to be expected in the boat of this age um, this one whenever you compare it to what else is out there on the market at this price level um, I think it's it's uh, really does represent great value for money been sold complete with the trailer it's got a bow cover and a tonneau cover as well and um, if you're looking at it from further afield through England or Europe or whatever it'll be really easy to organize transport of this boat because it's on uh, that trailer and the wheel bearings and everything are really good on it too so um, hopefully it's, uh, this might be something that could work for you if you'd like to find out more about it if you have any questions or you want to arrange to come and have a look at it uh, please don't hesitate to get in touch just give me a call or drop me an email or you can fill out the callback request form on this page of the website and I'll contact you at a time that's convenient thanks very much for watching